102 centimetres. <coughs> wow. Wow, what do we got? That's a 90 centimetre. My God, what have I got on here? Have a look at that, 101 centimetres. We're on. We're on. Look at that, 91 centimetres on the live salmon. Welcome back to another episode guys, just as I said, uh, this trip's in the Coorong as you can see, yeah, there's a few, there's uh, eight gates open um, and the wind, the weather's not real good but uh, it's not too bad either, at least it's not going to rain but they're forecasting south to south westerlies. Uh, 15 to 25 kilometers I think um, and then turning south to southeast later tonight but um, yeah we'll see how we go anyway I've, uh, I've heard of a few fish being caught um, but nothing major uh, this is November so they should be starting up now but yeah we'll see how we go I'll uh, go to the live bait spot get some live bait and then we'll head off to the spot and um, yeah hopefully we get into some he's open we'll see you there you spot I, uh, I didn't I was gonna do a video on the way here but I didn't get around to it I only got a few liveies I struggled to get them but um, and she's pretty windy but we're at the spot now got a live out got a pilly out as you can see the sun's just going down yeah the tide's going out now and um, She's not high tide until five o'clock in the morning. Um, then last time I was here, there wasn't much flow in, uh, but it's a fairly decent tide tonight, 1.4. But um, yeah, I think the, with the gates open, the current going out, it's gonna, it's gonna struggle to push against it, but yeah, she should push up after midnight sometime, I think. But uh, yeah, hopefully, um, these fish start biting soon but um, yeah I'll build it up and keep checking the baits see how we go get on to them you Well, the mud away here, that's for sure. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. This is a good fish. Uh, I've even got the net out. for the season. It's about 60 or so.
Pack some more barely out. Yes, I'm excited. to their advantage. Well, yeah, he's only just the biggest, 56. A centimetre bigger than that. Oh, on again. Oh. Whoa! Sheepers! He went straight out of the boat. fish. Use that, use that current. Oh. Away from that live bait. If there's even a live bait left. That's another good fish. Damn. BKK 80 Octopus and um, yeah I like them and this other one is a Mustard Ultra Point 80 actually it's a 10 a this one and a lot of, lot of people don't like to use big hooks in their Kirong but as far as I'm concerned Mudderway got big mouth so use big hook 10 o and 80 Doing the job for me tonight. So we hope you get off this one. Oh, you prick. There's a few people have asked me what rod and reel and that I use. Oh, this is a variety, variety, I think they call them. I think it's only a um, 
Yeah, two to four kilo. Two to four kilo. Baratis combo. This is a um, power oh, Pro Max. Oh, yeah, Pro Max it is. Pro Max. And I've only got I've got uh, six kilo because it doesn't take much line. I've only got I've got six kilo pre-test on there. And I've got 40 pound fluorocarbon. 40 pound fluorocarbon hook trace. Low bead and a size two bead sinker. That works really well for me. I like the, um, I know it's a very light rod, but I like the light tip and sensitivity of it. You can feel every little touch from the muller weight. But yeah, very happy with these rods. I've got a heavier one. I just need to get a decent reel for it, but yeah. I've uh, caught a meter, um, 102 centimeter mulloway on the, on one of these rods. So yeah, they punch well above their weight. And as far as I'm concerned, the um, platypus pre-test. 102 centimetre mulloway I got about 10 metres of the line was absolutely shredded but yet I still landed that fish so as far as I'm concerned pre-test is pretty damn good by Mulloway standards. Well, that was a unreal session that was. I, I ended up with eight legals. Um, smallest was 47. Biggest. What was the biggest one? 58. Biggest one was 58, yeah. Small as Mulloway standards go, but well, it's truly really legal in here anyway, but yeah, um, the wind's blowing right up now and the current's really strong, so the Mulloway seem to have gone off a bite a bit. I mean, I caught a fish 10 minutes ago, but they slow, slowed down before that. They always slow down when the current's uh, really strong. Mulloway like to feed when it's not too, too hard to feed. But yeah, the wind's blowing up at the moment. It's not supposed to do this, but yeah, you never know when you're by the coast. But anyway, hopefully um, when that tide starts pushing up, it should um, slow the current down a bit and they'll come on back on the bite, hopefully. I mean, I've already caught eight at legal. Oh, here we go. 
but yeah, just as I was saying there, I just got a good bite then. Um, but yeah, oh, um, whoa, here we go again. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. See how we go. You! I just had a bite after a long time without a bite. The current's really strong. And as I said, they seem to go off a bite when the current picks up. But yeah, the, one of the reasons I a lot, love to use these light rods like this is because you can sit here when there's not much happening and just hold it and you don't get a silver arm holding it because it's really light. So you can sit there and wait for the mother way to have a chew on it if they're playing like, like play with it then you can feel the bite and strike when you need to. Whoa, here we go. Look at this. Just as I'm talking about it. I got a bite. But yeah, these rods are so light. You can sit here for ages holding it and you don't get a sore arm. But yeah, anyway, keep trying, chucking barely out. The um, tide hasn't dropped off yet. I mean, the out, out tow hasn't dropped off yet. It'll take a while to push against this current. So, yeah. But uh, I still reckon they'll come on the bite again when that current slows down. But they're still around, so we'll see how we go. I just thought I'd say, like, I don't know about you guys, but um, if you're watching this video, you're probably a crazy Mulloway fisherman like I am. But uh, nights like this is a. Uh, I know I haven't caught anything big yet, but nights like this is just what you, why you fish for Mulloway. Uh, it's just so enjoyable trying to catch the fish trying to work the fish out but as far as I'm concerned the biggest hint of catching Mulloway is you got to put the hours in you don't put the hours in you won't catch the fish every time I come fishing for Mulloway I fish for at least at least 10 hours that's what I've worked out over the years so yeah that's my biggest hint as far as I'm concerned if you want to catch Mulloway you got to put in hours and hours of fishing yeah, it's a hard thing but the rewards are well and truly worth it that's for sure Anyway, that current's starting to drop off. I reckon I'll be getting into them soon again. So, yeah. Let's see how we go. Yes. Yes. heavy. This has got a bit of weight. This has got a bit of weight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good fish. Wow. See that? Current. Slow down. It's a 
good fish. Yeah, we're talking. The tide. That's definitely the fish of the night, and she's 63 and a half. Have a look at that. Finally getting bigger. The tide just started slowing down again, like I said. We've come on the bite. 63 centimetres. Your beauty. You. Wow, wow. How was that? I wasn't getting any bites. So I just lifted it off the bottom. And this fish just chomped it. Well, that current's still strong as. centimetre fish the bag limit no, that's 51 51 centimetres and number 10 which is the bag for the Kirong yeah she can go back I'm only gonna get myself some tags the amount of fish I release I should be putting tags in them. But anyway, that's number 10. Bag for the night. You beauty. Woo! Oh, Another thing that I really think helps me a lot is to make a big barely patch like that. And constantly, every 10 minutes, Throwing out half a handful of that. Chucking out big baits. As far as I'm concerned. That's a good recipe for big mulloway. that bait and took it. Oh, it's a little fella. Yeah, I think 46 is a ridiculous size. Let me know in the comments guys, but I reckon you agree. The size of him and the Kirong should be... Oh. At least 65 or something, not 46. Here you go, girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish I've been waiting for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, is that it? That's the fish of the night. Sixty-two. No, not as big as the other one. Look at that, sixty-two centimeters. Number twelve for the night. Perfect. Gotta be happy with that. Oh, finally. Long time between hookups, but whoa! Whoa! He's a fish, dude.
Some of these schoolies, fifty one, number fourteen. You what a nice fishing. Well, I ran out of room in the SD car, but it's caught me first legal on the fish trap. Decent fish. Just digging the fish trap off the bottom. <laughs> 